So, Nintendo, you're gonna show the Metroid Prime Trilogy at the January Direct, right? Right? Because I think it's about time we get this on the Nintendo Switch. Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome back to the first Robochan show in 2020 where we cover the latest video game news from Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony, and other gaming companies. If you want to be kept up on the latest gaming news, click that subscribe button down below to be kept up. In this video, we're going to go over some new evidence that could potentially point to a game that was announced back when the Nintendo Switch was launched showing up in a January Nintendo Direct and also go over some evidence I covered in a past video for those who haven't watched that that points to a Nintendo Direct in January. So the game that I'm speaking of is Shinigami Tensei 5, a game that was announced during the Nintendo Switch launch in a game as an RPG fan like I always say in these videos I'm excited for. And as a fan it's kind of disappointing that we haven't got to play this game but in the end it's going to make for a great game if they take their time with it. Now recently the Atlas Twitter tweeted out this for New Year's Eve saying this. Happy New Year, we look forward to your Atlas in 2020. Now by itself it isn't really much but Persona Central retweeted it with a comment saying this that could imply some big things for not only the January Direct but how big these announcements will be at the January Direct. Please look forward to follow-up news on Shinigami Tensei 5. So where would they be announcing the follow-up news for Shinigami Tensei 5? Possibly, I don't know, a Nintendo Direct? Now of course, that by itself doesn't mean that there's going to be a Nintendo Direct. It could just be an update in a tweet or a video. But when you factor in other evidence points that we'll be going over soon, it starts to point to a Nintendo Direct in January. Not only that, but literally as I was editing this video, GameStop SKUs appeared on Twitter from a Twitter handle by the name of Yu Kami with 12 new Nintendo Switch SKUs from GameStop along with some games that you may recognize like Tokyo Mirage Session and Darksiders. It's all but confirmed for January now. And like the title of this video says, this Nintendo Direct is going to be bigger than we think. So one thing that's been a pretty consistent pattern even back towards the Wii U days is that after a Nintendo Indie Direct or some other event that Nintendo holds that isn't a Nintendo Direct related, there's usually a 1-2 to two month window wait until we see a Nintendo Direct. Nintendo has been doing this for a long time time like I said back in the Wii U days so I would expect them to keep on doing the same thing. You also have to consider the year of 2020 is going to house the PS5 and Xbox Series X so competition is going to be fierce. Even if they are not directly competing against Sony and Microsoft the new consoles are going to be a huge draw for all gamers so for a January Direct they'll have to make a huge splash. This means the January Direct should be housing some huge announcements like Shinigami Tensei 5. We also have to remember that Animal Crossing is coming out incredibly soon so there's that. There's no doubt in my mind that Nintendo wants to promote that game and hype all the Animal Crossing fans up, even more than we already are. Which I don't know how that's even possible because I am incredibly excited for this game. Who else already has their Animal Crossing magic circles ready? And of course Metroid Prime 4 is still up in the air. Recently it was outsourced to a different company for part of the game so it wouldn't be surprising if the Direct held some kind of update for Metroid Prime 4. Breath of the Wild 2 is also still in development and is a huge game for the Nintendo Switch considering the mass success of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and it's sure to turn heads of course because that was a very popular game. I still can't believe that there were more Breath of the Wild copies out there than Switches. That's insane. To get to the point, Nintendo has a lot of huge hitters that they need to stand up and say hey we have these huge games, look at us. And that's really exciting honestly. But on a side note, I really really can't wait for Animal Crossing. So what do you guys think? Do you think this adds to evidence for a January Direct or not? Do you think this is just all nonsense? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe, like, and of course share with your fellow Nintendo friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.